Hello, so nice to be here and finally participate in the CSV conference. I have wished it so for a long time. Uh, I'm going to talk about today uh, with you all about a uh, little something we have been preparing um, related to processing uh, data flows and data pipelines using open source software. Uh, we use uh, with using Apache Airflow and a little package we created named Fast ETL. Uh, first, a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Augusto Herman. I work at the uh, Brazilian government in the Ministry of uh, Management and uh, Innovation in Public Services. And I, for the past uh, years, the decades, I have been. I, had, I have worked in the past in open data. Uh, I have helped create the open data policy for Brazil, also the launch of the dados.gov.br portal, uh, Brazilian open data portal from 2010 until 2018. Uh, but more recently, I, I'm no longer working with that. I uh, work in, in a data engineering team, uh, uh, making uh, data lakes uh, at the Secretariat for Management. Uh, and we have been using almost exclusively uh, free open source software there for the past th three years. You can find my presentation uh, on uh, this link. Uh, I'd like to als also thank you, uh, thank, thank the uh, our team, uh, the data team at the uh, Ministry of Management. Uh, they spared no effort to uh, uh, work li really hard to make uh, this version uh, easy to use and available as a, uh, as a package that you can easily install. Uh, so, uh, and FastATL is uh, uh, a free and open source plugin for Apache Airflow. And in a bit, I will talk about Airflow itself. Um, it, it has uh, features for. Um, Easily, more easily processing data pipelines, uh, and you can uh, speed up uh, the development process because it, uh, using uh, all the some of the functions that uh, we provide, some of the operators, hooks, uh, we have a little bit for many different things. Uh, why did we create such a, a thing? Um, we wanted to uh, use it internally to develop it our, our own data pipelines, so to make it faster, we reuse code that we have uh, used previously, previously on other data pipelines. Um, and we have been using this code since uh, 2019, and we took the parts that we uh, were most common and we purchased this library, and we love free and open source software. Uh, and we wanted to share uh, knowledge with other data teams and expand the uh, network of developers. So if you are, uh, like it and begin to experiment with, with it, it would be great to get some feedback and contributions. Um, so what is Apache Airflow? Apache Airflow is a free and open source software uh, that has a vibrant community. It uh, has frequent updates. So that was part of our, our decision in using it. It's already version two, we 2.5 uh, something. We started using it back in the first version. Uh, it's basically used to uh, schedule tasks uh, and orchestrate them. Uh, you define some tasks to usually, usually take data from somewhere, clean it and load it somewhere else. Uh, or it can be actually anything, th these tasks. And you set the order of them, and th this order is called the uh, or uh, orchestration, and you define when it should run, and uh, it ca can also trigger other processes. So it gives you uh, visibility into the extract, transformation, and loading process. And uh, also not notifications when something breaks, something goes wrong. We use it, uh, we receive uh, messages in our Slack team uh, when some uh, pipeline broke and we need to work in fixing it. Um, 
So we use Airflow and FastUTL to peri periodically synchronize uh, several data sources. It can be databases, can be uh, even uh, spreadsheets. Uh, we have, these are not just uh, examples, but we actually do have data sources in Excel, in Google Spreadsheets, in uh, SharePoint. Uh, and then we load it into the data lake and uh, the data is then used for data analysis, uh, for uh, auditing uh, processes in government, uh, we even using machine learning to detect outliers, things like that. Uh, and also to create dashboards for the people in different areas of the ministry to uh, figure out and pro helping the decision making process. Uh, we publish data on the open data portal uh, using Airflow as well. Uh, we notify people when the, uh, some specific terms or their names appear in the official gazette, like the government has the official gazette, publishes uh, laws and norms, and some people want notifications when a list of terms appear there, and they receive an email for that. Uh, we, we can also send notifications about many things, uh, and Slack matches messages as well. Uh, we also use it to manage our own sprints on the team. Uh, for, uh, uh, at the end of the sprint, everyone receives an email with every task they have done. We use it actually, actually for managing the uh, w remote work internally, so uh, we can m need to feel a report on what it we did, and uh, this list of tasks everyone did is really helpful for that. Uh, so uh, it can uh, the FastUTL uh, plugin for Airflow can uh, create create replications of uh, tables, uh, database tables. Uh, they can be uh, full or incremental uh, in SQL Server, uh, Postgres uh, databases. MySQL also can be a source. Uh, it can load data from Google Sheets um, and uh, from uh, uh, file share sharing in Windows. And of course, it can extract CSV from SQL. Uh, it can uh, clean data using cu custom data patching tasks, like uh, for each table, I have a process that will clean this type of data. Uh, we have uh, sometimes uh, messenger graphical coordinates. I have some examples for that. Uh, and mapping canonical values for columns, like when people uh, fill out uh, some form in, in free text, and we want to make mapping tables to canonical values. Uh, it can also query uh, the official Gazette API, as I mentioned. Um, we can use, use it also to Calcul calculate uh, distances uh, in a uh, map from OpenStreetMap using the OpenStreet routing machine, which is also open source software just for that. Uh, we use also the CKN API to uh, publish open data. You use to use because the <laughs> that's that uh, scrap uh, is no longer using the CKN API, but its own API. It's also supported. This new API is also supported. Um, and we've been using uh, frictionless data, uh, tabular data packages, to write data dictionaries, dictionaries uh, in open document text format. So here's an example uh, of using the DB to DB operator. Uh, Apache Airflow works with a concept called uh, hook and operator. Uh, it's an abstraction that you just configure a connection with some data source and then you can uh, use the hook to, to manipulate that or an operator. Um, won't delve into detail line because I don't have time but what each of the, those are, but you just uh, configure the uh, co connection information, the schema and table you want to copy, you say if you want whether or not you want to truncate uh, the destination table, if you want to copy the table comments, which are, are, sh which are the descriptions of each column, uh, some other, uh, so you can, um, as I said, copy the full table or uh, just incrementally, uh, so it's much faster, co copy just the difference. Um, destination can be processed as SQL services, uh, also 
the sources can be MySQL. I want to show you an example use case that takes uh, from end-to-end uh, -end data transformation, from the massive data on the data sources until the uh, final uh, data published as open data and data visualization. So this is a project that uh, Brazilian government uses since 2016 uh, for uh, a ride systems in taxis for public officials to get to meetings in other places. So there have been over 900,000 rides uh, since 2016. Uh, there are over uh, 35,000 users, which are people who took, take uh, these taxis. Uh, and it's used by more than 160 public organizations in all levels of government. So here are some numbers from the data sources. Uh, there are 29 heterogeneous uh, databases with different table schemas, five different uh, suppliers, which are the companies who manage the, the taxi systems. Um, and uh, sometimes it's the same schema, but uh, if the, it's the same company, but if uh, it's a different company, usually it's a different schema. Uh, many of uh, fields are of unstructured text, uh, even, uh, uh, for example, uh, the reason, uh, alleged reason for taking the taxi or uh, which government organizations that sometimes uh, we need to map that information to uh, the, the, the real uh, existing uh, uh, government organizations. Uh, so uh, this is uh, the schematic uh, that Airflow generates uh, of the whole uh, pipelines like each of uh, those uh, processes is called the DAG. That's a direct acyclical graph. That, uh, uh, like um, a process that uh, extracts, transforms, and loads data. Uh, it starts daily at uh, 7.45 a.m. Uh, th it then cleans the data with uh, FastETL patchwork, which has th is that collection of data cleaning processes for each specific field. There's one for geographical coordinates, there's one for CPF, which is the number uh, uh, that identifies Brazilian citizens, uh, etc. Uh, then the data that has no privacy restrictions is published as open data, and this whole process is finished before 8.30 a.m. every day. Uh, this is uh, an example of the cleaning part. So uh, above you have uh, the part that cleans geographical coordinates. Uh, you have things like uh, using uh, wrong decimal separator for latitude and longitude, or wrong signal, or values multiplied by an arbitrary number like 1,000, 100,000, etc. Uh, but also the other, uh, like uh, uh, the status, motive, and other fields that uh, are also cleaned in these processes. Uh, this uh, w uh, is how we are using actual code for uh, calling the FastATL uh, patchwork to clean the geographical coordinates. We just uh, pass uh, a data frame and our file, rather, we read from a file, then this is the data frame, uh, pass the source, uh, the schema name, uh, which are the configured the parameter keys, uh, which columns that have co geographical coordinates. Um, and the, it does all, all the cleaning. Uh, we also uh, read table metadata uh, from uh, the database, uh, like the table descriptions and column descriptions, and we then uh, record it as a, a file, a data package uh, from Frictions Data, uh, which looks like this. You see it's the same uh, descriptions here, go there. And then we used um, the document template to data dictionary operator to take this and generate a, a text document containing the data dictionary with the same uh, column types and descriptions. So you get also the type information is very important. Um, so this is uh, the open data uh, publication DAG for this particular data set. Uh, you can see that some tasks can run in parallel, so uh, Apache Airflow manages this uh, as well. Uh, you configure the amount of workers you want to set for uh, processing tasks and uh, according to schedule and availability, Airflow uh, schedules and run each task and returns a status. This green symbol means that uh, it's uh, 
uh, has uh, had some success in the task. Uh, if you get an error, it gets another caller. We click then, and we can see the log file. And uh, usually, there's a helpful error message you can use to fix it. Uh, then, uh, this is an example of uh, using frictionless data to read the uh, open data. So uh, we just uh, import uh, the uh, package class and pass a URL, and you can query any of the, any of the tables. Here, the example are the writes I have done myself in 2018. Uh, it's updated daily. Uh, you don't see more recent because I have stopped using it. Just uh, oh, this is an example of uh, visualization, visualizing this data, uh, and it's actually interactive. And you can uh, should I show this? Or not? Maybe I should show you this later because I want have some time for some questions. You can find FastETL uh, or this Git repository to install it. You must install these dependencies and then you can install it as a package. And these are some things I use for my presentation. Yeah. And if you want to reach out to our team at the Secretary of Management, you can use this email. And uh, my own contact is in my website. And now I'd, glad, I'd be glad to answer some questions, either in English or in Portuguese or, or in Spanish. We have time for one or two questions. If I understand correctly, you are no longer using the CCAN API. I want to ask you why. Well, that is a difficult question to have to ask the current managers of the portal. Uh, since uh, 2019, I'm no longer involved uh, with the management of the portal. I wish they still use the Sikian API. Uh, if you have some question, go ahead. Um, what, what would an organization need in terms of infrastructure to set up and use Apache Airflow? Um, well, you need uh, some. Uh, we, we need you need you can uh, use it in uh, you uh, in Kubernetes or uh, also uh, depending on our infrastructure. We do not use Kubernetes yet. We use Rancher uh, 1.6, which runs on Docker containers. But uh, basically, you just need. Uh, like uh, a virtual machine and uh, then set up the, th that depends actually on the load you want to, uh, of your process, how much data you are going to process because uh, I talked to some people uh, a while ago that they uh, process lo uh, huge volumes of data. So they started using Apache Airflow but they were using AWS for deployment but then their process grew so large that, uh, that their bill started to grow uh, too costly. So they decided to move to uh, lighter software stacks. So, but uh, for our needs, uh, Apache Airflow has been uh, running uh, very well. Uh, we use uh, three uh, virtual machines with uh, 16 gigs of RAM. But we have over 100 uh, processes of ATL. ETLs, so that's uh, what being working for us. Thank you so much. We are at time. Thank you again. <laughs>